Okay, so I've been thinking a lot about maybe doing a video. And so here I am. Hi. Um, I have a couple pages, some blogs. I even have a book that I've been writing. All for me though, not for like the world to see. And so I thought about it some more. Maybe I should share some things. And so one thing I was thinking about today is that um, about everybody's been thrown into this homeschooling thing and it is overwhelming don't get me wrong um scary frustrating <laughs> some people even mentioned they you know drink coffee until they can get to their wine um fair enough i mean honestly fair enough it's not that we don't love our children we definitely do but it can be a challenge you know it's untreaded territory and the thing is, is that I wanted to share some things that might help. Um, we forget sometimes when we're in it, we forget and we get frustrated, you know, and we have to remember that homeschooling is not a box. Schooling is not a box. Learning is not a box. It is the whole world. You can take everything outside or even inside, whatever you're comfortable with, you know? But if you're, whether you're learning your basic letters and sounds, or you're learning words, or you're learning paragraphs and how to structure a story, um, a paper, it doesn't have to be inside a box. So let's say, for example, you have a first grader and she's learning spelling words. And doing these worksheets are just, blah, you know, to her or him. And they, you need to remember that the most important thing is for them to build a foundation. So if it's blah to them, which I kind of get, some kids it's not, they're, they're great and they're almost perfect, but they're not perfect. You know what I mean? Like they're the perfect student where they just sit down and do it and they're great at it. But then other kids struggle and it doesn't mean anything negative at all, at all. Don't forget that. They're not being naughty and they're not being disruptive. They learn differently. Okay. So what I wanted to say with that is that think of creative ways that they can learn the spelling words. Okay. There's rainbow writing. So get their all favorite colors that they love. Let them pick them out, whether it be colored crowns or chalk, markers, colored pencils, paint, who cares? And let them write them with that item over and over again. If they love it, they're gonna do it continuously, okay? If that's not their cup of tea, so give them some salt, maybe some sugar, maybe some shaving cream. Pick a tray, easy peasy, dollar store, right? Get that cookie tray out. And you spread it out and you just ask them. And it's fun for them. And it's a sensory, you know? They're learning so many things within that. They can smell it. They can, okay, not taste everything. But, you know, where I'm coming from, right? I hope so anyway. Um, They not only get to fill it, but they get to learn. So they're filling all those letters with their fingers and they're learning. Um, I know it's not traditional. I know that it's sometimes people are like messy. Ah, that's for the words. Okay. Except for me messy is in every child. Okay. Majority of child's DNA. Like they love messy. So if you can't stand it, take it outside. Put a, you know, cheap dollar store mat under them. It will be okay. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they are learning. They are learning. Okay, so go on for, from letters. Go to numbers. Okay, so whether they're learning just their basic numbers, like they don't know them yet. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 20 or 100, whatever they're learning, where they need their regular, you know, basic correspondence, one to one, one to one, oh, two to two. Um, or they're learning more in depth, you know, what is three divided by six. Use different things and be creative. You don't even have to spend a bunch of money. Get some beans out, get some blocks out, get some money out. 
anything and let them fill it. Like what is one bean plus one bean? Two beans. Basic magician here. And you can you can even like bring it up from there, you know? Um storytelling, break it down for them. Help them highlight it. Put it into their even expand on it. So if they're like, oh, I don't really understand it. That was my struggle when I was a kid. I'm like, why do I have a paragraph of math? Like, this is not math. This is English. Totally get it. So don't just let it stop there. Help them. Learning, and this is where I'm very big, and this is why a whole blog, which, you know, a whole blog that I don't even share with the world about play is important. But it's not just play. Like, so many people argue with me about that. But it, play is learning, okay? But it's purposeful play. Meaning, it is my job as a parent, whether you're, I don't care, your mom, dad, uncle, whoever's parenting, okay? Whoever's their job to parent. To be purposeful. So I ask the questions. I provide the materials. I provide the opportunities. You know, I don't just let them just run around with their heads cut off all day. Okay, free play? Yeah, I do. But, because I also think that boredom brings imagination, which it really does. Um, so, I just, I want to give you guys hope in the fact that if you guys are a parent, which we've all have been there, and you're sitting there, and you're frustrated with the fact that little Susie is not wanting to figure out the math page, right? Instead of getting frustrated, instead of being frustrated with them, take a moment. What is their learning style? How do they, you know, how do they learn? Understand that. Think about it. Also know that if today they are tired, frustrated, anything, take a moment. Let them be that. Because we all get that way and come back to it. And they'll be more successful. And also remember that learning is about foundation. You gotta lay that foundation. Make sure they before they move on. Okay, so I hope this video is not lagging because I keep seeing it kind of lag in the video. So forgive me if it is. I'm sorry. But I just I really want to express to everybody that's doing it amazing. You know you're doing an amazing job. I'm sorry. But if you're sitting with your kid every single day, trying, you're doing amazing. Doesn't matter if you feel successful or not, you're doing amazing. It's meaningful to them that it's not just about the worksheets, okay? When you are making things meaningful, if you have to take it to the next level, so if you know that they have spelling words and they are not loving the worksheets, don't make them do the worksheets. Bring it down. Let them fill it let them be in it meaning maybe get some play-doh out if that's their thing get some shaving cream cream out if that's their thing draw it in the dirt if that's their thing singing a song really feel it you know you guys hear me like it's important to do that and that is what they were another note i just want to say that I know it's hard. I know it's stressful. So all you parents out there who are doing this, which is the majority of everybody, please take some time to reconnect with yourself. Like, I don't care if you have to take a 20 minute walk, no children, or you go take a shower. If you can do that by yourself, you know, not have the kids being at the door, um, putting a towel underneath, a toy underneath there. <laughs> like, you know, kids are crazy. They're so silly. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Makes me laugh. Sometimes it makes me frustrated. But to take that time to re-energize yourself will make you better at this. Also, be forgiving. It's okay that if you wake up tomorrow and for whatever reason, your kids are not feeling it and just want to run around the backyard all flipping day doing whatever. I mean, my kid was half naked all day. I won't lie. He's crazy. 
I love him, but he's crazy. So he would rather get in his underwear or butt naked and run around the back yard. Especially when he's had an emotional morning. Oh yeah, that's how he spends his afternoon. It's like he's decompressing and thinking, man, can I join you? Okay, we're not doing that, but I mean, seriously, must be nice. And you just gotta forgive yourself. Like, let them do whatever they need to do. Just like you sometimes need to do whatever you need to do. We are all human. It is okay. It is okay to be like, hey, guess what? Joey's, you know, playing naked in the backyard and he's good. I'm going to sit out here with him and read my book where he digs in the dirt pile and talks to himself about whatever imaginary book he makes up in his mind. That's fine. It is fine. It's healthy. Forgive yourself. You know, earlier I was thinking, I really hate dirty dishes in my sink. Two days now, I've allowed myself to have dirty dishes in my sink for more than a quarter of the day. You know why? Because I've decided it is okay. It is okay that my children's needs become before the dirty dishes. My needs come before the dirty dishes. Do I like dirty dishes? No. I hate it. It's disgusting. I hate it. But I've also learned that I have to prioritize that. And that's the thing I have to keep telling myself all the time because I'll go crazy with it. And that's what we all have to do. Like, yes, it is good to have a clean house. Yes, it is good to have the routine. But we also have to be flexible within that. And we also have to be give ourselves grace, right? And you guys are all doing a good job. And I hope that my, my ideas um, that I've learned over the years and all my knowledge that I've gained will help you. And also the fact that letting things just flow. If you are super tired one morning for who knows, because most time when I'm tired in the morning, I'm like, really? I slept eight hours. What's my problem? Who knows why I'm tired? Take care of myself. If I need to sit there and read a book or the kids watch a TV show, that's okay too. It is all okay. Just when it's not okay is when we condone it for so long. You know, that's all we do. You have to have balance, okay? And we are strong people. We're strong mom and dads. And we got this. So remember that when you get frustrated and you just want to say, be gone with it. No, don't be. We're stronger than that, okay? You know what? I'm so glad you guys joined me today. Um, and I'm glad I kind of did this video. So, I might do more. Bye.